Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Dead Space 2. Mmm, we look sexy in our suit. Okay, you can no longer see our face, but you were able to very clearly and obviously anytime you wanted in the early stages of the game. And we're still going to be hearing Isaac talk to people over the video com, which is pretty cool. Wrong button. Just to get us rebriefed, our current mission is to get the hell out. All I want to do is sleep. And also, I have three power nodes. So, if there's a bench nearby, that would be amazing. So, this is the way we came in. This was the last power node we got. Okay. Also, we got our sexy uh, old cutter from Dead Space 1. I don't know if there's any difference in stats whatsoever. Yet, yeah, gee, thanks. You know that thing I just did? You know, tutorials are cool and all, but like, when I've already done that thing you're telling me to do... Hello? Entering vacuum. Bringing that back so early, huh? I just start with 120 seconds of air. Don't think I'll be needing to upgrade it this time in the game. Obviously, this is the tutorial air section, just to show you how it works. There we go. I really like that effect. God, I can get used to this. <laughs> See something. It's yours. You know... This area looks kind of like... Jesus. This area looks kind of like the area in the anime. Oh my god. Oh right, I have the stasis. So I'll shoot the weak points. Goodbye. Good. No, that did, we're done. Where the hell did it... Okay, there it is. Oh. Ugh. I really love that you can run while reloading. Uh -huh. Woo! I deserve that. That yeah, really didn't hurt that much. But two hits is kind of... Uh oh. Nope. Yeah, bitch! Uh oh. What are you going to do? Leap with one hand? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, seriously. Oh wait, I can use this debris. Or you know, not. And yes, I saw the giant glowing hit me here piece on his tongue. Oh, I deserve that. Let's go ahead and use a small med kit. That actually heals a reasonable amount. I like that. Uh. Bitch! Come at me, bro! Okay, let's stop that tongue of yours. You piece of... Okay. I'm out of the hospital. Okay. The tram station is just beyond the apartment block. I know. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyvon tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Translation, get moving. Uh, well, don't that suck. Now, about our inventory. Alright, well, you know what? I would like to get rid of that... Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess I can't affect it. I, I like how it's heavy, so I can only kind of pick it up can't really throw it. Alright, this is not something that I want just kind of sticking around in my inventory for a million years, so I'm actually going to go 
back and sell that semiconductor real quick. And exiting vacuum. Piece o cake, am I right? Alright. See you. Yeah, sell. Um, you. Um, I think we're good with these. What is. And that's my actual weapons. Alright. Again, I'm taking no chances with this. What's my inventory space? Yeah, four more slots. It fills up so quickly in this game. Like, I absolutely must have a better suit, even though I've only just started. I'm on chapter one, and I gotta have a better suit. <laughs> okay. Eh, yeah, somehow I doubted it, but I just wanted to try. So into the ship? No, into that door. Well, it can't go in the ship, but what's up with the ship? Like I was saying, in the animated movie, the anime, I could have sworn that the ending scene looked, or the ending ship area, or whatever, looked kind of like this. The person ended up... It was really dark, like, whatever character there was just kind of stayed on the ship in the light where the necromorphs kind of tended to avoid going, but it was completely surrounded by necromorphs. So they're not attacking yet, but they're way too close for comfort, and you know there's no good way out of that, so it was just like, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's a prequel. You know everyone. That's not Isaac is gonna die, and Isaac hasn't arrived yet, so you know everyone's gonna die. No spoilers. But still, it was really pretty grim. Thousand credits. The hell? Okay, nothing. I'm, d I'm just waiting for monsters, I'm sorry. Okay, so obviously I'll check the side area out. Ooh! Bunch of credits. Otherwise, nothing really of note, it seems. What's this? Anything? Maybe not. And yeah, sure enough, my stasis came back. I like this. Are you anything? No. Okay, that was easy. Locked. The hell? Okay, but does that mean this or oh this? See, seriously, this is what Dead Space One was missing: actual engineering stuff. This is what it's all about. Good lord! I. C you know what? Good news. I cannot aim my gun, which means I should not be able to be hurt. It's like Fatal Frame 3 when you're in the house. Yeah, there's a lot of scare potential, but you know nothing's actually gonna hurt you. So there is that measure of safety. Unless it's simply move forward to escape the thing, like in Downpour. And what a seamless transition to Chapter 2. By the way, I heard that this game was a lot more linear than Dead Space 1. Dead Space 1 was linear, but I mean, you went back and forth to the same areas between chapters to see how the area changed. Not so much here. Oh good, there's a bench. This is glorious. Let's see how the store's changed. I could probably buy a new gun by this point, just because... Line gun, javelin, yeah, just straight up, I got two kinds of guns. So we got Spear Launcer. I had heard that this was basically a, um, like the sniper rifle. The line gun, a wide energy beam that can slice many objects at once. 9,000 credits, and I have 16,000. This one's 11,000, Jesus. I'll try the line gun out. Oh, I have four power nodes. I wonder if there are still doors that can only be opened with nodes. If so, then I will play it safe and use only three nodes at the bench. I can upgrade either of them. Is there a point at all? They even have the same stats to start with. Rig? Yeah, we're still playing this game. Well, I could start with HP. Uh, okay, now for the, the pla refurbished plasma cutter. So capacity and damage. 
already we're looking better. So we're at 12 shots. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boom. Otherwise, nothing much to see in here. Store is checked. Okay, I guess we're going through. Yeah, I'm not going crazy. It's the only way out. You can barely hear that guy. Thank you, subtitles. Alright, you're safe. Looters will be shot on sight. Oh, that's not good for me. It's also not good for those enemies in Beyond Good and Evil. Ho ho ho! Trivia! Whoa, hello. You're kinda fast, aren't ya? I upgraded my damage, bitch. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> boosh! Ba -ba -ba boosh! Okay, anyone else wants some? Yeah, that thing was fast anyway, but it looked faster because of the conveyor belt. Because it's coming toward me. Two for one, limited time only. Lemon gun? Eh? Hey. There you are. No kidding. When there's something below me, I actually attack vertically? Oh no, that's just the way I attack anyway. Damn it, Taterman. And do you think he's actually going to be the bad guy or is he a red herring? I mean, clearly he's a bad guy, but do you think it's going to be like, oh, but there's worse, far worse. Stasis. Oh, power. Aha. Uh -huh. Use one power node. You know what I'm going to do? The save point is literally as close to this thing as I could be. So I'm going to save and try using my node. If this doesn't work, I swear to God, I'm going to reload. Let's do it. Because I can't really change rooms right now, otherwise the checkpoint will be reset. Assuming we have the same checkpoint system in place. So far, it seems that we do. I'm locked. And you better be damn good. A thousand credits. A thousand credits. A thousand credits. Med pack. Schematic. Yeah, okay. Worth it for the schematic alone. Wait, that wasn't a schematic for power nodes, was it? Because that would be nuts. I can just buy power notes again. We're back to that. Gold semiconductor. This is insane. Plasma. Yeah, this was like the most worth it room I've ever seen. Alright, text log. Do not forward. The unemployment grew to 9.5% due to losses from collapse of local planet cracking business. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident depresses all activity of that sort. But Titan Station continues to post a small profit. Buoyed by the cash influx by scientific research and operations facilities. Da 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 da. The CEC itself has found moderate new life in the R&D department of the government. Okay. Alright. But yeah, like in that power node room. See, this is why. You gotta keep one power node on you at all times. At least. Hup. Open that door. It's taking a while to load this door, by the way. Jesus. Dude, give it a rest. You are kind of fast. Slow down, buddy. What's the rush? Oh, look, the game was kind to me. They would have given me a power node right here anyway. And, and you saw that, by the way. Again, my inventory is completely full. Where the hell? Wait. The schematic takes up a slot. Damn it. Wait, there was, again, there was a store in, like, the room immediately previous. I'm, s I'm sorry to do this, but I kind of want to have inventory space as well as power node purchaseability, buyability, the ability to purchase, redundancy. Yeah, that's right, take a little longer to open up the freaking, yeah, there we go. 
Go into the, go into the, go into the, go into the dead space store. Yay! So let's go ahead and sell that gold semiconductor. As well as... I think sell for nothing. You know what? I'm going to move my old plasma cutter. Although I don't think it takes up inventory space. So maybe... Eh. Well, in any case... Oh, the shop. Now you, I move. You... I guess, I guess it's just a, 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 a look. I don't know. Anyway, I should have a little more inventory space now. Sexy. I went from zero available spaces to four. Quite impressive. And again, I can now buy power nodes. Which changes the dynamic of the entire game because that would have sucked otherwise. And again, being that this game, from what I was told, does not backtrack to old areas, but this area is gone, presumably it's gone. So it's a good thing I found that. Whoa, hello. Jeez, you got, you got me, I'll admit it. You really got me. You, sir, are good at what you do. I mean, you're dead, but you... Whoa! Those necromorphs ain't so hot, man. That thing literally landed on me, and I still got the first shot. That said, that was a good scare. It actually got me. To a degree. Needless to say, you didn't hear me scream, but that was that was quite effective. How about you? You alright? Yeah, I think we're okay. I guess that's another tutorial. Like Dead Space 1. Attention. Necrom Whoa! Necromorphs can go through vents. Whatever. The more show up here, the fewer show up later. Thank you, Sai. There's the elevator. I'll get to that shortly. And there's a lot more stuff to pick up and toss around in this game. You really gotta search. You never know what might be, uh... Behind things in this game. Oh, guess I'm going off the fourth floor. If that's an accurate progress marker, then that's a quick elevator. Crap. Engineering time? Great. Hey! Hey, hey! Oh, um, that's, that's my floor! D damn it. That's pretty creepy. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac. Isaac, look out. Subtitles, please. Oh, I hate these things. I really do. Still, he's never going to threaten me again. Take that, corpse. So I guess the prisoner was telling me to watch out. This place really has gone to hell in a handbasket. It didn't take very long either. Okay, we're going this way then. Doesn't look like there's much to see. Nope. See? See how quickly I search? It's ridiculous. I'm a freaking detective over here. Hey, you. No, you're legit. You're also not a threat anymore. <laughs> Med pack never gets old. Once again, I apologize for how dark it is. Remember, I did adjust the brightness. Actually, I'm looking at my capture feed. It's a little brighter for you. Dark as hell for me. That? Boo. You dick. I'm trying to help that nice couple over there, douchebag. Yeah, you know what? Why don't I equip my line gun? 
Oh, that's funny. I was trying to press left, and I'm facing the screen, so it's actually to the right. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently, the alternate function of this thing is to just drop timed mines, or proximity mines. Jesus! That was cool. Oh, I could get used to that. The reload time definitely leaves something to be desired. Yeah, I might have to upgrade the line gun, because that was sexy as hell. Also, bathrooms that actually look like modern bathrooms. Was it the toilet? It's a little creepy. Oh, hi! That's a lanky one. What are you, like the necromorph of Jim Carrey? Oh, excuse me, Jim Carrey is, to quote him, kinda gangly. And I said lanky. Whoopsie. Alright. Where'd I come from? That back area. So, again with the wheelchair, is this Silent Hill or not? Oh, that guy's not a threat. Next save point I see will be it, by the way. Just saying. Alright. Here's the danger zone. That is... Walk away and jump scare. No? Actually, if nothing comes of that, it'd be even creepier. Like, a lot creepier. Wait for it. Sure enough, the power's out, so this thing stopped moving. Oh, hi! You're not good at this. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You know what? Whoa! Once again, who gets the first shot, bitch? Oh man. Excuse me for a second. Dude, you know, shut up. God damn, is that a cool gun? I gotta be a little more precise in my aim, sure. But Dude, seriously. Shut. Up. Oh, excuse me. Oh, bitch. I readjusted my freaking calibration in mid-jump. Mmm. Oops. They don't call him Isaac Corpse Stump or Clark for nothing. I know I used that in my first Dead Play Let's Play. Dead play, let's play. Dead space, let's play. But you know what? It's still funny. In fact, it's hysterical. Laugh, damn it. All of you. You know, slow load time aside, that is some glorious animation. Now, you I searched, I believe. Yaha. Uh -huh. Now, you guys. Now, you're good. Now, you're all good. Damn. All right, all right, all right. You all right? The answer is yes. All right, nothing to see here. Let's go. Sorry, I thought I saw something crawling. Wait for it, wait for it... Okay. We got items. Oh, he's armed. 
<laughs> I guess he's more than a match for me. The guy who single-handedly got through the first Dead Space game. That was not walk in the park. Hey. It's more like it. So while I'm waiting for this guy to quit whining, let's take a look at the text log. Conquering a moon, part one of two. Planet cracking became feasible in the decades following the unified field theory. Large-scale applications of this, that there's a new tool at hand. Planet cracking was glorious. Saturn's moon Titan was set to be the first one. Okay. So let me guess, part two is where things went awry. You know what's really cool? Is I think I was down there. Like, we're, we're working our way through. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Looking foolish in front of everyone. <laughs> Although I can probably see one thing. This guy was down there. Excuse me. Is down there. So where's the little bitch with the locked door? Or was it you? Alright. Oh, little, little, little bastard alone. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How'd this happen? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tymon built another one. Mother! On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tymon wants that power. Get to the trap. So this entire game wouldn't have happened if Tymon wasn't a piece of... Damn it. Heh. <laughs> Oop. Paying attention. Oh good, there's a save point. Perfect timing. Ugh, that's creepy because I didn't do that. While I listen to the Half-Life 2 headcrab monster moaning, I'm going to hit up the save point. Ba-boom. I think we're doing pretty well right about now. But now that we've gotten this far, I'm going to stop the installments. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We upgraded our plasma cutter, we upgraded our health, we bought a line gun, which is pretty sexy. I never used it in the first game, but its immediate uses are quite obvious, and I haven't even used the mines. Wouldn't that be great, just laying mines and walking away, monsters blow up? Another thing I heard is that if you don't use mines that you laid, you can actually pick them back up, so it's impossible to waste a mine, unless you just forget and walk away. Pretty cool looking gun so far, even though I've only fired it maybe three times. But man, it cut the scorpion creature's arms off both at the same time. Oh, I can see us using that quite well. Also, we have a schematic for power nodes, so we can now buy them and upgrade this, um, upgrade ourselves just to a ludicrous degree. Hopefully I'll be able to afford it as much as I uh, could in the previous game. Until next time, everyone.